I got an idea. What if you take this capture card and this dock for a handheld device and we press them together like this really, really hard. Ah! You get this right here. This is the Avermedia ExtraGo GC550 and it's like they have done the same thing. This is the world's first dock for your handheld gaming devices, smartphones and tablets that doubles up as a capture card. Let's dive deep into the key features of this powerful capture dock that is designed to be used both at home and on the go. And if it's worth for you, disclaimer alert, I am an Avermedia partner and they have sent me this product for me to test and review and to make a video talking about it. But as I always do on all of my review videos, this is going to be my honest opinion. I'm going to tell you guys the good, the bad, and it depending on your needs, this is good for you to purchase. First, let's take a look at the ExtraGo GC515 and what comes inside of the box. Coming at around 15 by 8 cm and with a weight of only 176 grams. On the back of the device, you have a USB Type-C port, two connections to your handheld, phone or tablet, another USB Type-C for power, an HDMI port to USB 3 Type-A for accessories like mouse, keyboard or a controller, a third USB Type-C to connect it to your PC or laptop, and a switch to change between capture and carrier mode. On one side, we find the 3.5mm audio jack and a micro SD slot. It comes in two different color options, white and black, and they both feature a small transparent blue strip. Now, the white version is made out of PCR or post-consumer recycled plastic for a more eco-friendly choice. You also get a short right-angle USB Type-C cable on both ends to use it between the Avermedia Extra Go and the device that you want to connect it to, an HDMI cable and a USB Type-A to Type-C cable. And a small drawback here is that it doesn't include a power brick, so you will need to have a 65 watt charger if you want to power it properly. What you may think is a bad thing, but I kinda understand why Avermedia make it like this. Because probably if you're looking for this capture car, I think that most of you guys already have a 65 watt power brick to use with it. And like this, they can keep the price a little bit lower. So you can take the power brick out of your Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck, or even an iPad and use it. And did you notice that I mentioned that it has a micro SD card slot? That is because the Avermedia ExtraGo GC515 allows you not only to dock your handheld device onto it, you can record all your gameplay directly to that micro SD card without the need of any type of PC or laptop even close to it. All that you have to do is to press that big button in front and you can start recording up to 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p at 120 FPS. For internal recording, you can capture all your footage with two different encoders, H.264 and H.265, and on them you have three different qualities to choose from. Normal, good, and optimal. In all of my testings, this changes the size of your recordings anywhere from 106 megabytes per minute to 252 on H.264 and from 236 megabytes per minute to 300 on H.265. What this means is that in the optimal quality on H.265, one hour of footage will be around the 18 gigabyte mark. All the footage that you see on this video is recorded using the H.265 optimal setting if I don't write it somewhere in the video itself. That is why I recommend you guys to get the biggest quality micro SD card that you can afford. But I tell you that you don't really need the fastest one. Just check that is at least U3, A2, V30, and before you set it out into the extra go, that you format it using XPAD. Now, if you want to change between the different encoders and the quality settings, you need to connect the extra go to your PC and download the Avermedia Streaming Center software, where you can access all the settings as well as streaming directly from it to your favorite site. As a dog, I have tested with a Nintendo Switch, a Steam Deck, an iPad, an all Android device, 
and even my iPhone. And everything has fit really good, but I can't say how it will work with bigger and thicker devices like the Lenovo Legion to mention one. The HDMI pass-through is low latency and up to 4K at 60 frames per second, what is really good for what handheld devices can offer even on competitive gaming. And speaking about that, the Avermedia Extrago GC550 can give you a big advantage on competitive mobile games like Fortnite or PUBG Mobile thanks to the two USB ports on the back that you can use to connect it, let's say a keyboard and a mouse, and use them instead of the touch controllers. Just notice that, for example, on an iPhone, you will need to go into your settings and activate Assisted Touch. This detail of the two USB Type-A ports on the back amplifies the usability of the capture dock. You can use your tablet as an editing device for the own footage that you recorded on it. Using the HDMI to connect it to a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse for ease of use. I tell you, you can even add a microphone if you need to add any voiceovers. Also to work in big projects or to type long documents. Another scenario that I think is to connect it into your Linux or Windows handheld and use it as a full PC at home or on the go. Especially now that handheld devices are becoming more and more powerful by the day. Here between us, another great thing that Avermedia Extra Go allows you to do is to charge your device at the same time that you are using an external monitor. What is great for longer playing sessions or work? What you want? Now onto the audio capture. It's the first small problem that I found and something that could be better. The device would only capture the audio coming out of the HDMI pass-through or the 3.5mm audio jack. It will not record it if you are using the native speakers of the handheld that you are using. So, if you want to record with sound, you will need to use the speakers of the monitor or TV using the HDMI output, or you can simply connect that headphone or speakers into the 3.5 audio jack. Another small thing, and this is not on Avermedia side, is that if you are planning on recording from streaming services like Netflix or Hulu, some kind of HDCP or high bandwidth digital content protection is going to restrict content from recording on these platforms. Avermedia made this product with portability in mind, so you can take it with you anywhere that you want thanks to the lightweight and also because you can even power it with any power bank as long as it's capable of outputting 65 watts, making it really easy to use on the go without the need to any traditional power outlet. And as I mentioned before, if you connect the Avermedia Extrago GC515 to your PC, you can also use it as a traditional capture card for USB Type-C devices. And you can simply record or stream using the broadcasting software like OBS or Avermedia Streaming Software Center. Now, the device is not perfect as well as the software, but I know that Avermedia is working on it to bring updates and improvement on both of them. Ok, so what is the damage to your wallet? At around $199, the Avermedia Extra Go is not cheap. Let's not get mistaken there, this is not cheap. But for what it offers, the price is really competitive. This is a premium capture card that is specifically designed for handheld gaming, something that you won't find right now in another product. Plus, the ability to record without a PC is a huge selling point for content creators who are constantly on the move. If you are a handheld gamer who is looking to capture or stream high-quality gameplay, the Extra Go is a fantastic investment. As well, if you need to be productive with a small device and you enjoy the occasional gaming on the side, it's good. However, if you already have a capture car and you are only looking for something to dock your devices, this might be a little bit too much. The real strength of the Extra Go lies in its all-in-one functionality, making it perfect for gamers who want an easy, a portable recording solution. 
Also, if you have multiple devices that you want to use on a dock, this is the way to get rid of all the clutter and have one dock for all of them. Like the one ring. Or to save money by not purchasing docks for all of your devices. And that alone, I think, is worth the price. To wrap up the video, the Avermedia ExtraGo is a versatile and well-designed tool for gamers and streamers alike. What the heck? It's portable, easy to use, and offers fantastic capture. And that is it from my review of the Avermedia ExtraGo GC550. If you enjoyed it, guys, make me a big favor and drop a like into the video because YouTube loves that you click all the buttons and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it and you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, my friends, and like always, see you guys on the next time. Bye bye.